mm-hmm. sa ating lahat o whatever it is na <laughs> kalalagyan ako umaga ba dyan o gabi but it is morning here in the Philippines and I just want to thank God for this opportunity to for, to be once again sharing the word and I also want to thank uh, Pastor June and Sister Sarah Se- Sereno for inviting me to be a part of this uh, ministry the Sarah Balabagan International Ministries and PHLB Radio Indeed, this is such an opportunity for me, and I just thank God for that. So, before I share the word, can we just pray? Oh, let us pray. Father in heaven, we come before you today asking that you grant us wisdom, Lord, even as we listen to your word. Indeed, we believe, O oh Lord God, that your word is our light, the light into our path, O oh Lord God, that we need so that we could continue walking. We could continue in our journey, O Lord God. So help us, be with us. Holy Spirit, allow us to understand. Give us give us the, the wisdom, Lord, and help us, O God, so that it will not just be head knowledge, Father God, but we, would, we could use it for our lives, O Lord God. Father, we thank you and continue to give you all praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Minsan pa po ay isang magandang araw po sa atin lahat. So, uh, natutuwa po ako na again ay nabigyan niya ng pagkakataon for me to speak and to, to share what God is putting in putting in my heart. And, uh, last time I, I talked about intimacy and 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 uh, I zeroed in on recognizing the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ which is quite important. Especially sa panahon natin ngayon that there's, there, there are a lot of voices that you could just hear. And it's hard kuminsan na uh, tumugo, no? sumunod sa kalooban and just because of those voices. Now, let me continue with with with, with that topic. And uh, what I will be sharing today is one of my devotion this this week, actually this week, yes. And and and, and I pray and, and, and I believe that, that God will be using this for us today. Hayaan ninyo na basahin ko yung, yung, yung text na aking pagbabatayan. It will be coming from Luke 7, 36 to 38, and it goes like this. Then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus was at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. Okay, so pagka, pagka na natin yung, yung mga talata eh, and we just put ourselves into that doon sa eksena na yon. Parang siguro hindi ko, hindi ko maintindihan kung ano yung, yung mararamdaman ko. Imagine seeing a woman na gano'n yung kanyang ginagawa, na hinugasan yung paa ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga luha. At pagkatapos niya ay pinunasan ito ng kanyang buhok. It is quite overwhelming, di ba? Na... Ma- kung makikita natin yung ganong sitwasyon. And, and as I was pondering about this, as I was I was meditating on this, God God showed me three three words that that I believe is nakapaloob doon sa doon sa mga talata na yun. Eh, it was eh, the words were humility, thankfulness, and appreciation. So yun yung yun yung pinakita sa akin ni Lord. And 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 as I was habang patuloy ako sa Lord, bakit? Ano? Bakit humility? Why is it humility? And then he told me look at what she did. Diba ang sabi, she was the feet of Jesus with hair with her tears sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga luha. But before that uh, history tells us that only slaves does that. Oh, yung, uh, only slaves do that. I mean, yung mga, mga, mga alipin lang ang gumagawa ng pagpupun, uh, pagpuhugas ng paa ng mga bisita sa isang 
sa isang tahanan. And, and, and this woman was not a slave. She was not. She was not a slave. So, you could just imagine yung, yung, kung ano yung, what made her do that. Di ba? Ano yung, ano yung, ano yung, ano yung nagtulak sa kanya para gawin niya. Well, I believe this. Meron kasi siyang isang bagay na nakite. Na unawaan. Ano yun? She understood, she understood that it is only Jesus. Tanging ang Panginoong Heso Kristo lamang ang makapag-aalis sa kanya doon sa kanyang miserabling kalagayan na pagiging makasalanan. Yes, she knew that it is only Jesus who could take her out of sin slavery. Naalala ko yung 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 recuerdo ni ni, ni Pablo, hindi ba? Nang sinasabi niya, who could save me from this miserable state and and he also said that only Jesus, only Christ, si Cristo lang. So I believe the woman saw this and this is the reason why in all humility in all humility ay lumapit siya sa Panginoong Hesus Kristo at yun nga yung kanyang ginawa sa pamamagitan ng luha ng pagsisisi sa pamamagitan ng luha ng pagkilala na siya ay makasalanan ay hinugasan niya yung paa ng Panginoong Hesus Kristo so she did the work of a slave she did the work of a slave and and, and you know what in doing that kasi sabi ako sa do sa custom bin la to wash another's feet symbolizes the subjugation of one person to another ibig daw sabihin noon ay yung pagpapasakop ipinapasakop mo ang iyong sarili at kinikilala mo siya bilang Panginoon now look at that look at that that is the reason why she did that that is the reason why she cried and 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 using her tears ay hinugasan niya yung 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 paa ng Panginoong Hesus Kristo and with all the dirt in it galing sila sa labas remember di ba and, and and during those times hindi naman sementado pa ang daan eh so uh, they they walked in in dirt road so so you could just imagine how dirty the the, the, the feet of Jesus were during those times but she did that pero matindi doon eh yung she acknowledges She subjugated herself to Jesus. Ikaw, ikaw ang aking Panginoon. Ikaw lang yung makapaglilinis sa akin. Sa aking kasalanan at makapag-aalis sa akin sa pagiging alipin ng kasalanan. And of course, that also, ang implication din nun is since siya na yung Panginoon, ang ibig sabihin nun eh, siya na yung masusunod. Ang Panginoong Heso Kristo na ang masusunod. So, yun yung unang nakita. Yung, yung humility do, ng babae to do that. It was so, she really did humbled herself towards Jesus doon sa sitwasyon na yun. At sabi ko, wow, grabe. Grabe yung ginawa niya. The second word is thankfulness. Kasi, di ba, after washing the feet of Jesus with her tears, ang sumunod naman is, she wiped her tears with her hair. <laughs> Pagkatapos na hugasan ng, ng, kanyang, ng kanyang luha, ang paa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, e eh, pinunasan naman ito sa pamagitan ng kanyang buhok. Wow. <laughs> Instead na mag-shampoo, eh, ang ginawa niya, di ba? inugasan ang paanan at tinunasan ang, ang paanan ng Panginoon sa Kristo ng, ng, sa pamagitan ng kanyang ng kanyang buhok. And I was wondering, ano yung implikasyon nito? Ano yung, ano yung gustong ipakita sa akin nito? Yes, how thankful should I be? Or how thankful should we be na pagkatapos tayong pagkatapos na ako, ako, kasi devotion ko to eh, pagkatapos na ako ay linisin, patawarin, at justify ng, sa pamagitan ng aking Panginoong Heso Kristo. And humbly I did, yes, I did not wash His spirit with my tears. But I was putting myself into that situation. How thankful should I be? Now, doon sa thankfulness, eto yung nakita ko eh 
nung punasan niya sa pamagitan ng kanyang buhok, yung kanyang, yung luha niya na ginamit niyang pang, panghugas sa paa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Alam niyo, hindi. I know a lot of verse, I know, I know a lot of scriptures, but one thing about me is that I cannot remember the exact na, na lugar nila. No? So I googled it. Hindi ko naman sabihin sa inyo na ganun ako, ganun, magaling ako. Ganun. So I googled it. So I, may naaalala kasi ito. May pinaalala kasi sa akin si Lloyd na isang verse. Yung verse is yung sinasabi that the glory of a woman is his long hair. So I googled it. <laughs> At din pala ako dito sa, sa talata na ito. Na, sa 1 Corinthians 11.15. And this is what it says. But it says, but if a woman has long hair, it is her glory, for her hair is given to her for a covering. And I was dumbfolded, ano, kasi the woman understood that her hair is her glory, it's her covering. It is her covering to whatever it's worth, ano, kung ano man yung dahilan ng pagpacover na ito. But it was his, her glory and her covering. <laughs> and, and, and I was dinala ko sa ganitong kaisip. How thankful should I be? Well, I'm talking about life, of course. Paano ba ako mabuhay bilang isang tao na lubos na nagpapasalamat on sa ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo para sa akin. Genuine thankfulness is giving all the glory to God. One isang problema ng maraming tao at kasama ako doon is gusto nating napupuri. Gusto natin na Yes, we want to we want to take a part to take the glory. Minsan hindi lang part of the glory ang gusto natin. We want to take the glory. And 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 this is what the Lord told me. Genuine thankfulness is giving him all the glory. That means as you as you as I as I continue to to travel the path that he has given me and 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 i will be i will be experiencing a lot of battles and most of those battles i will i will be winning because of his goodness because of his faithfulness but there will always be the temptation there will always be the 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 the, the lure and and the desire to get a part of it but thankfulness It's just acknowledging this is all yours. Acknowledging what it said that, that I can do all these things through Christ who strengthened me. Acknowledging that apart from Him, I could do nothing. And just thanking Him for everything. Just telling Him, Lord, thank you. Thank you na nahandito ako sa sa ganitong kalagayan, thank you na I, I just won a battle because you, you, you fought for me. And help me, Lord, that I could just thank you with my life, not just with my mouth. Just giving him all, all the glory and honor because it's his. Kanya naman talaga yun eh. Kanya naman talaga yun. But, but knowing God, sabi niya, yung mga nagpapakumbaba ay eh, itinataas niya eh. He does it. He does that. Kinagawa niya yun. I, 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 I remember, uh, 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 minsan, hindi ko alam kung naikwento ko na po sa inyo, pero ikwento ko ulit. Minsan, na-invite ako sa isang 
sa isang gawain ng mga kabataan. I believe it was a summer camp, a district summer camp with a lot of uh, youth attendees. Then I, I, I spoke. Then God worked. The Holy Spirit really, really did wonderful things that night. But, but before I was to end the message, I mean, and as a minister, ministering time, I was, I, I, I asked, the Holy Spirit led me to, to, to call them into, to, to uh, and they were in altar call, and they were already in, in, in that, everybody was in the midst of the, uh, the work of the Holy Spirit during that time. Then I've heard his voice told me, Muwi ka na. <laughs> Go home. So we can read Dipatapos. Dipatapos. But, but, but the, the voice was insistent. <laughs> He kept on telling me, Go home. Tapos na yung trabaho mo. Tapos na yung trabaho mo. So I told you Lord, yes, Lord, this is what you want. So, so be it. So, nabiyan ko yung team. Sabi ko, oh, pack up na. Let's go. Hindi pa tapos. Ano? Na, pack up na tayo. So, we went. Uwi na kami. <laughs> then, then, natapos and it was wonderful. Sabi nung, sabi nung president, the, 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 the youth president told me that it was wonderful. It was such a refreshing time with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. And, <laughs> Nung nasa biyahe na kami, he called, Hey pastor, where are you? Saan ka na? Uwi na kami. But I still, meron pa tayo, we have, meron pa tayong ceremony. We have to thank you. <laughs> then, then it dawned on me, thank me for what? It was not my work. It was the Holy Spirit working in our midst. And I was humbled. And I, I thank him. I thank God that, that, that I was able to resist the temptation of not going home. Kasi siguro kung nagstay pa ako, I could have taken a part of the glory, which is his alone. Kanya lang yun. Eh. Kanya lang yun. Kanya. And I, I praise him for that. So thankfulness is just giving him all the glory. Yes, there will be a lot of victories. There will be a lot of, of <laughs> battles to be won, but it's all for the glory of God. It's all for the glory of God. So humility, number two is thankfulness. And the third is appreciation. So, and the, and the point that, that led me to this word is, he kissed, he kissed his feet and anointed them with expensive fragrant oil. Okay, so you see, thankfulness is very important, and yes, but we but also appreciation. Ano yung ibig kong sabihin doon sa sa appreciation? Doon sa isang sa ibang sa ibang kwento about this. Ano yung part ng kwento about the the the, the woman who anointed the the feet of our Lord Jesus, anointed Jesus with oil. Sinabi doon sa sa, sa Mark fourteen eight. She did what she could. She anointed my body beforehand for my burial. Okay. So it was Jesus speaking. Sinasabi niya doon sa mga, doon sa mga tumututol ng mga, ng mga alagad at saka mga pareseyo, bakit tao ginawa? Um, mahal, pwede yung binenta, pinamigay na lang sa sa mga sa mga dukha. Ito naman si Simon na nag-imbita sa Panginoon. So if, if this person is really a prophet he knows that the, that this woman is a sinner alam niyo yung, 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 yung instead of seeing what 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 was what god was doing at that time eh, nagstay sila ha, doon sa perspektibo nila doon sa sa kanilang mga sariling kaisipan and sometimes we, that, that is how we are me included no <laughs> but but going back to appreciation ano ano paano pinakita sa akin ni Lord yung 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 ibig sabihin ng appreciation dito. Jesus told Yes, Jesus told the group who were there that 
she anointed my body before my burial. Suddenly, how do I appreciate God? How, do I, uh, how will I appreciate Jesus? And I was caught with this by identifying myself to his death. What I mean? Ibig sabihin by identifying myself to his death, that means I have to live the way he lived and if I have to die the way he died, then so be it. And so be it. It also means, alam niyo, dating din sa akin, yung, 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 yung lagi natin nadidinig that we have to die to ourselves in order to, to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is how I am. As I've said, told you devotion, but if this will be speaking to your hearts, I have to follow him, even if it means that. That is how to appreciate what he did. And, 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 and this appreciation, yes, including thankfulness, and this appreciation, ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng, ng consistency. Ng consistency that despite the hardships, despite the, 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 the troubles that we are, we will be facing, we will, we will be experiencing, eh, we could just hold on. That, that we... <laughs> Ang sabi kasi, those who, 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 yung mananatili hanggang wakas, sila yung mariligtas. So that means we need to be consistent. We, 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 need, to, we need to stay. Alam nyo, kailangan manatili. Kailangan hindi tayo, hindi tayo bumitaw, umayaw. Di ba? And, and appreciating what he did, that means identifying, identify mo na yung sarili mo hanggang doon sa dulo. Hanggang sa dulo. That it, it, if it means dying, why not? Why not? I know this will be a struggle. Yes, there will be times that this will be a struggle. But, but iba kasi pagka nahandun ka, nakapokus ka na doon eh. Remember that, that we need to have the mind of Christ, right? that, that we have to allow our minds to be changed so that we could have the transformation that we need. So, appreciating, appreciation means identifying yourself, myself, to his birth and to his death. And, and Paul said, <clears throat> that way, I will be able to participate in the fellowship of the suffering and to live in the power of his resurrection. <laughs> Humility, thankfulness, and appreciation. This is what happened to the woman. Ano? Yan yung naranasan niya. Yan yung naranasan niya. And, and how did this change the woman. Paano niya, paano, paano na bago? Siguro bigyan na natin ngayon ang pangalan yung, yung babae. Ano. Sa John 12, ang sabi, then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany. I, I believe this is John 12, 1, 2, 3 yata. Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus who had been raised from the dead, whom he had raised from the dead, there they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary, kapatid ni Lazarus at ni Martha, took a pound, a pound of costly oil of spike nard, anointed at the feet of anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. Ito na. So may pangalan na. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Okay, hindi ko expand yung the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil dahil that's another, that will be another <laughs> another devotion. Ano? <coughs> Excuse me. 
So it was Mary. It was Mary. I'm about to end, brothers and sisters, with, with, with this. It was Mary. Naalala ko noong, noong the, the time that, that Jesus, uh, Lazarus died and, and Jesus was late. Actually, he was not late. It, it, it had its purpose. Noong dumating na siya, bago niya buhay and si una niya ayun na nakausap ay si Martha at sinabi niya do you believe that the time the resurrection and the life at yun din naman yung sinabi niya kay Mary but Mary was so devastated of his brother's death that all he all she did was weep pero yun din yung sinabi niya meron siya sinabi niya, Lord if you had been here my brother would not have died di ba so she did not understand hindi niya masyado naiintindihan kung sino si si Jesus. Pero after that, after after ma, ma, ma makita niya ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Na bago eh. Maraming na bago. What how did Mary change? Ano yung naging bunga nung nung pangyayari na to? na yung, yung transition ay ma- nakita natin doon sa kanyang pag pagpuhugas ng 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 sa pamagitan ng kanyang luha ng paanang ng Panginoong Kristo at pagpahid nito ng ng kanyang buhok at gain din sa pag buhos ng 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 pabango mamahaling pabango. Pagka po natahan natin yung sinasabi sa Luke 10:38 to 42. And sabi dito, now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into, the, into her house. And, that's, and she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with such serving, with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and, and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed and Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. Titignan natin para mas gina- maraming ginagawa si Martha eh, para kay Jesus. Para sa Panginoon sa Christ. But Mary just sit at this foot as if as sa kanyang paanan at nakinig. You know what? I believe Mary knew that sitting at the feet of Jesus that yun yung nagbibigay ng kasiyahan sa kanya. Listening. Just being with him. Mary knew that what Jesus wanted was intimacy. Time with Him. Not just time for Him. Time with Him. At sa buhay natin ngayon, mga kapatid, most of the time we are so, we're inclined to spend so much time with our ministries, with, our, with what we do for Jesus, for our Lord, na ang nakakalimutan na natin ay yung oras sa piling niya. Going back, what did Jesus did to us? Nilinis niya tayo, pinatawad tayo sa pamagitan niya, nagkaroon tayo ng kapatawaran, nagkaroon tayo ng kaligtasan, How do we thank Him? How do we appreciate Him? I believe, <laughs> see, if we will be looking at what the Bible is telling us, that what is, ano ba talaga hiningi sa atin? It's Christ-likeness, di ba? How can we attain Christ-likeness? Magagawa ba natin yan by just doing the ministry? 
maraming gumawa nun eh. Pero sa huli, huminto. Hindi nakatagal. O kaya naman, along the way, eh marami ding mga hokus-hokus na, na nangyari. But I believe what Jesus wanted is for us to have really an intimate relationship with Him so that we could know what He wants, so that we could hear His voice and just do whatever He wants as He is looking at the Father. Nagagawin niya lang kung ano yung pinagat nakikita yung ginagawa na ama. Releasing us from all the burden and, and helping us to rest in Him. As He have called us, di ba? Come to me, all of you who are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. But how do we do ministry? Minsan, para tayong palabaw. Para na tayong, ano, di ba? Yung hirap na hirap na tayo. Baka naman, tulang na tayo sa oras. Kasama ang Panginoon. Baka naman, yung talagang ninanasa ng Panginoon sa Kristo mula sa atin, ay yun na yung napapabayaan natin. Mga kapatid, masarap magbabad sa presensya ng Panginoon. Marami kang matututunan actually. Kaya lang hindi siya head knowledge. Experiences siya, at experiences siya at mga bagay na itatatak niya. Tinatatak niya sa, sa ating mga puso. At yun yung mga kailangan natin. Yun yung mga kailangan natin to continue until we finish the race. So let us just magkanatayin shit. Ang hanapin natin, ang nasain natin ay magkaroon tayo ng intimate na pakikipag-ugnayan sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Kaya natin siya ang kumilos sa ating mga buhay. Purihin ng Diyos. Purihin ng Diyos. Tayo po ay manalangin. Panginoon naming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Tulungan mo nga kami na tulad ni Maria. Patuloy kami magpakumbaba sa iyong harapan. Patuloy kami dakilan Diyos na, na magpasalamat. At patuloy namin bigyan ng importansya ng pagpapahalaga ang ginawa mo sa amin, Lord. Lord, tulungan mo kami sa bawat oras na aming mga buhay. Ang nasain namin ay ikaw. Hindi ang ministerio, Panginoon, because ministry comes. Ikaw yung nagbibigay nun eh. Help us, Lord. Baguhin mo, Panginoon, ang aming pagtanaw. Ang aming nasain. Ito ay matuon lamang sa iyo, Panginoon Yesus. Katulad na sabi mo, that, our, that we fix our eyes on you, ikaw yung author at nagpapaganap ng aming pananampalataya. Lord, ikaw po yung magpala sa amin. Tulungan mo kami so that we could just spend time with you, Lord God. And help us, Lord, so that we could just learn, oh Lord God, that every hour of our lives will be connected to you, oh Lord God. But when we have to do decisions, oh Lord God, alam, parang nahandya ka sa tabi na we'll be asking, Lord, ano gagawin ko dito, Panginoon? That it will be life, Lord God. Not just, hindi lang oras, Panginoon, na ibinibigay, kundi yung buhay, Panginoon, na, na, na naka, nakapasok, Panginoon, sa yung presensya. Nararanasan ka, dinara, Lord, intentionally ninanasa. Ikaw yung laging maranasa bawat oras ng aming mga buhay. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, as, as this is our pursuit, oh Lord God. Hindi, hindi mo pababayaan na hindi matugon yun eh. Yun din yung gusto mo eh. Oh Lord, salamat po. Maraming salamat po sa mga ginawa mo. And help us, Lord, so that we could always preach the gospel to ourselves. Lagi namin maalala, alalahanin 
ang ginawa mo para sa amin. At lagi kami ma-refresh, Panginoon. Lagi namin makita ang iyong pabutihan, ang iyong katapatan, ang iyong pag-ibig. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat po. Nilinsan pa, Panginoon, ay tinataas ko po sa iyo ang ministeryo ito, ang, ang, ang ministeryo ni Pastor John at ni Sister Sarah. Bless them, Lord. And I speak of your blessing upon those who are viewing right now, upon those who have listened, who have, who have watched of God. Let your blessing be upon us all, Lord God. And let this blessing be something that we could live by, oh Lord God. Maipamuhay namin, Lord. Sa pagkatalan namin, Panginoon, that is what you want. Sabi mo, Panginoon, na hindi lamang makikinig, kundi sumusunod. Lord, maraming salamat po. Binabalik po namin sa iyo ang papuri, ang pagsamba. Sa iyo lamang po matamis at dakilang pangalan, Panginoon Jesus. Amen. 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 Minsan po po ay isang magandang araw po. Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Amen. Amen. <laughs>